Hi everyone. Oh, people are coming in. This is so exciting. This is my very first um, Yorkshire Yarn Fest, so I'm really, really excited about this. Um, so I'm just going to introduce myself as people are coming in. Hi, I'm Nikki and I run Bunny Crafts Oxford, um, which is a relatively new um, yarn dyeing business. I've had Bunny Crafts Oxford since about October um, last year and um, I've loved my dyeing adventure. Um, I, if I look a little bit glam, it's, it's my birthday weekend. So um, we have a little birthday sale. So everything is 15% off in the shop if you use B-Day 37 and I'll put that in the video description and it's going to be on my Instagram as well. So um, if you don't follow me, do follow me um, so that you get more info about the um, sale. <laughs> yeah, so I'm glammed up because I'm going to go for dinner after this for the first time in 18 months. But enough of that, let's get on with the yarn. So I'm really excited. I've got some new um, autumn colorways coming out and I'm going to start with those and then we're going to see how we get on. So the first one I'm going to um, show you is this. So this is um, Falling Leaves and it is predominantly a chartreuse with some oranges and some mauves. I can't pronounce that word. There's a lot of sort of yellowy chartreuse running through it. And I've got a little swatch for you. So um, I literally finished this like 10 minutes ago. So this is it. This is a um, US half double crochet and then just a standard stitch at the top. And I never weave in the ends of my swatches because I hate weaving ends. So that's my first autumn colorway. And I love it. And I'm gonna end up with like a whole sweater in this. You just wait, it's gonna be so bright. The next one is embers. And um, it's this. So it just makes me think of um, the fire and sort of the nights closing in and um, it just being cozy and the embers just kind of uh, dying down at the end of the night. So this is on my 100% BFL um, Aran base, but you can have it on my Super Squishy Sock and on my Super Squishy DK, which is a Merino Cashmere Nylon bases. Um, so yeah, that is um, embers and I didn't have time to swatch for that one so I'm really sorry. Next is, um, oh god if you see the mess around me right now there's yarn everywhere. Next is actually an old favourite, um, that's pistachio and it's just a really nice sort of warm greens and burgundies and pinks and purples. Um, pistachio is genuinely one of my favourite colours um and yeah like it just makes me think of the pistachio um nut so that's why i called it that um you can have that across all of my bases as well i lost the swatch for that one i don't know where it is <laughs> just goes to show how organized i am and um then we have just non sort of um non autumn specific colorways i love bright colors so the first one is this and it is called flows sunset and you can actually see me dye this this is the newest video on my youtube channel so if you just put bunny craft oxford at youtube it will come up and you can actually see me dye this um, and it's based off of a photo of a sunset that a very good friend of mine took so um it's got lots of sort of yellows and greens once you see the photo it will make sense the photo is also up in the shop as part of the description so that you can see the inspiration behind this um i think this is going to micro stripe if you did socks in it so it'll be really really pretty um again didn't manage to get a swatch done i've been swatching like crazy but i didn't manage to swatch everything there's just too much um, then we have negative spaces 
And this was something I just wanted to see what happens if you didn't dye half of the skein. So half of it is white and the other half is just this mix of blue, yellow, um, I think that's Cabernet, some teal and then again some yellow with the Cabernet which makes like this really really cool sort of burnt orangey red colour. I don't actually even know what to call this colour but yeah so this is really, I, I love this. I love this so much. I actually dyed some roving in it as well so if you are a spinner or you do felting as well there's going to be more and more roving so this is the negative spaces roving and if you're curious about how it spins this is what negative spaces spun this is a three ply that I've spun on my little nano so this is what that looks like the yarn knit up looks like this so it does this really cool sort of spiral. You can see it better on the other side where you've got the blue. So it's going to spiral up through your sock. It will micro stripe um, again, which I love micro striping. Um, so yeah, these are all of my new, new yarns. I have a couple of favorites of mine. And the first one is um, the Party Cocktail garden party cocktail so it's just this beautiful variegated yarn in predominantly just sort of pinky purples and then you've got the blues and i've got the cutest little swatch i did a little baby flax sweater um just because and it's it's adorable i love it and i think it's just such a pretty yarn it's so soft um it's it's a really delicate color for me so that's Garden Party Cocktail and we then have my other favourite which is Triton's Daughters and Triton's Daughters is bright, I mean it's really bright um, and it's beautiful and it is inspired by King Triton's Daughters from uh, The Little Mermaid, Disney's Little Mermaid. And this is how it swatches up. So this is how it knits up. Um, so you get these beautiful pops of just the chartreuse and then all the other colours. But it's even more beautiful if you combine it with white mohair or sorry alpaca. So it tones it down, but you still have this beautiful sort of chartreuses with the pops of orange and stuff. So am my own time? I've got plenty of time. I can show you so much more yarn. This is awesome. Oh, what next? I know what's next. Next is one of um, my favourite yarns. Um, this is called the Lord Mayor of Norwich. And that is because it was dyed for the Lord Mayor of Norwich. And more specifically for a jumper that I got commissioned to knit for him. Because one of my best friends is um, his son. So <laughs> it's, it's my connection to, to Norwich and it knits up so beautifully. Um, it's just a gorgeous variegated yarn and this is how much I've got of the sweater, but it's because I knit pretty much all the sweater and then I had to frog it because I made a mistake. So this is the yarn knit up. Um, yeah, you can you can see the pops of the darker blue and it's, it's so soft, it's so soft. <laughs> I love it. So that's that and then we have my best seller and that's this bad boy here oh come off this is called chips lemon pepper quilt top and it's inspired by a quilt that was made by chip from the fiber hustle uh, which is a podcast on youtube and this is on the aaron base and it's a yarn that fades from dark dark grey to light grey to light yellow and then this very bright yellow and then it has lots of orange speckles um if you see the quilt top you'd understand <laughs> it's kind of inspired by the 2021's um pantone colors of the year and this if i can find the sock there it is is how it knits up as a sock so it micro stripes on the sock base 
and it's kind of really cool I really like it my blocker is too small for the actual sock um, it also crochets in a funny way for small projects it does this sort of weird zebra effect um, but yeah I love it um, I also dyed an alternative called spicy chip lemon pepper which actually goes three stripes of grey and then two stripes of yellow um, but I don't have a skein to show I do have a hat that I knit though so this is how it knits um, when it's, it's just the variegated version so that is chips lemon pepper my mayhem is now complete <laughs> there's so much stuff um coral reef is next and you can see coral reef just behind me there um but it's this so lots of chartreuse teal turquoise and then this sort of really beautiful peachy um corally orange and the only swatch I have of that is actually I used it as part of my Stephen West shawl um, for the, um, so it's Vertices Unite and it was part of the Hustlers Unite uh, MCAL that they had, the uh, Fibre Hustle had. So this is that and you can see the coil just sort of pop, pops through and it's just really pretty, um, it's really soft. It's really warm in this room otherwise I would just drape this on me but um, I, I start melting and god I have so much more yarn that I can show you um, we have so around here we have this neon rainbow and this is actually made using just three colors and then overlapping them with each other and I love this so much um it's absolutely stunning let me unwind it for you to see so you can see the purples with the blues and then it goes into the yellows and the greens it's another one that micro stripes um so it does that um i love this i have three skeins to make socks for everyone in my family um for christmas because we're gonna have really bright socks we love bright colors if you haven't picked up on that already um continuing with the neon rainbow um for pride month this year i actually dyed a neon rainbow speckled colorway as well so it's the same colors sort of that you see there and it goes from the yellow to the orange to the green to the blue pink and then purple and that also comes in a sock set with a mini that's the brightest chartreuse that is literally blowing my camera to pieces <laughs> that looks so bright i'm sorry if it's giving you headaches so that is the neon rainbow pride colorway and my little chartreuse we have um the beginning of a collection and I've only dyed one colourway so far. Um, well, I've dyed the rest, but I'm not happy with them. Um, so, oh, sorry, knocking the camera. Um, so we have this, and this is um, part of the DC Villains collection, and it is called Suicide Squad, because it looks like the poster from the movie, the first movie that came out, not the one that's out right now. So, um, this is a really interesting colorway because of the colors that I use they tend to breed, breed, bleed and spread into the water in different ways so sometimes it turns really greeny blue like this and sometimes it turns like my swatch which is super pink with a bit of green and blue so um because it's dyed really random I just bio everything in the pan and just throw color at it um okay I need to wrap up soon um that's what that does so that's your side squad. I have a lot of single skeins from End of Dye Lots as well. So do go to bunnycraftoxford.com. Thank you very much for joining me. I could go on for, hour, for hours, but I'm not going to so that I don't get into trouble. I hope you have a wonderful bank holiday weekend. Love you all. Bye bye.